No matter how hard evil Liza tried to ruin his passionate romance with Jenny, whose father, the rapist, blew himself up, Greg loved Jenny until that awful day when an accident left him with no sensation from the waist down. Now they are apart. No wonder. Poor Greg. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley. From the Jeffersons, Marla Gibbs. Too Close for Comfort's Lydia Cornell. From Three's Company, Richard Klein. All My Children's Lawrence Law. And from Mama's Family, Betty White. All on the new Battle Stars. And here's the man in command, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, Charlie Turner. Hello, ladies. Welcome to our show, and a warm welcome also to the newcomers joining us for the first time up there. And down here we have two players who are anxious to continue the match that was started on our last program. They're trying to wind up playing a bonus round worth a little over $11,000. So let's greet them now. First of all, our returning champion. He is a community services officer and a basketball referee, and his name is Peter Stewart. And already he's won $11,500. Let's win it here for him. Welcome back, Peter. Thank you, Alex. Have a good weekend? Yes, sir. All right, and your challenger, the pretty lady uh, in Los Angeles by way of Orlando, Florida, and Wisconsin, getting into the casting business. Her name is Mary Lasso. Hello, Mary. Hello, Alex. I was kidding with you on our last program about the fact that you were single, and you told us you were 28 years old. Are you still single? Still single. And 28. Still 28. Didn't have a birthday <laughs> no, this weekend. I, no, I didn't. All right, when we left off on our last show, one of our celebrities had been captured, and that was Charles Nelson Riley. He belongs to our champion, Peter. And that's when we're gonna pick, where we're going to pick up the game when we return after this commercial break. Just 60 seconds from now. Welcome back to Battlestars. The producer of this show tells me that I always seem to treat the pretty female contestants a lot better than the handsome male contestants. I wonder why. And that was obvious today because I was so busy asking Mary about what happened to her over the weekend that I forgot to uh, question our champion, Peter, and something very important happened in your life this weekend. Yes, sir. My wife gave birth to a lovely eight pound, one ounce baby girl. We call her Lindsay Morgan. Lindsay Morgan. I have a cigar for you. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> All right. See you. Congratulations. That's Thank your you. first one. Yes, sir. All right, that's the good news. The bad news is that when we left off, you had made a few mistakes, and the challenger was in command. And that means the board starts flashing for you, Mary, so press the button. And you get number nine, and that means we start off this day with a question for Richard Klein. Here we go, Richard. According to Ann Landers, what is the greatest labor-saving device for a housewife? One of these two answers on the monitor in front of you. It's probably uh, the pill. Whoops, wait a minute. <laughs> no, one of these two. Oh, one of the two that's on the board. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably a microwave oven, uh, Mary. Is that right or wrong, Mary? Oh, I'll agree. No. Oh. The greatest labor de saving device, according to Ann Landers, is a husband with money. We're back to Peter, the champion. <laughs> Press the button. You get number two. Pretty Lydia gets a question. In Peter Pan, Captain Hook was about to make Wendy do something terrible. When Peter Pan showed up and saved her, Lydia, what was she about to do? Oh, poor Wendy. She was about to walk the plank. Right I wrong. agree with that. That's the right answer. <laughs> yes, indeed. Way to go, Lydia. Because of your correct answer, you get to choose the next number, Peter. What's it going to be? I'm going to take number six. Number so six and try to win the match by capturing Lydia and Richard. Who's going to get the question? I'll go back to pretty Lydia. Sure. Oh, God. <laughs> Your wife just had a oh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Flirt you. <laughs> Lydia, in the Bible, could be found performing miracles with Aaron's rod. Mm. <laughs> um, Famous. Aaron. This I'm is for the match. I agree. That's right. Yes, it was Aaron. That's why they call it Aaron's Rod. Charles, Lydia, and Richard belong to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Mary, Mary. Had a chance. Oh, you dealt sure with did. one question, and I bet you you're going to remember that microwave, microwave oven. Microwave oven. Who knows? Answers. That might be one of the parting gifts we have for you backstage, but Hopefully. somehow I don't think so. We've got some nice things for you, however, and thank you for joining us thank on you. the new Battle Stars. Mary Lawson. All right, Peter, you come on up here. Now you have 
two people to play for and win lots of prizes for. You won the match with Charles, Lydia, and Richard. As you know, those are the three stars you're going to be working with in a moment. First answer is worth 500. The next question, correct answer, is worth an additional 500. If you get those two right, then you go on to play our battle star Bonanza, which today is worth a lot of bucks. And Charlie, let's find out what we're adding to it. It's a camping trip, Alex. It starts off when you and a guest will fly from Los Angeles to Tahoe via Air Cal. You'll enjoy friendly, courteous service aboard their conveniently scheduled flights furnished by Air Cal. And you'll take along a pair of camel tents, each designed to fulfill specific sporting and camping needs. Family and backpacking tents for outdoor shelter or a home away from home, furnished by Camel Manufacturing. And when you've had enough of the outdoor life, how about a weekend at Del Webb Sahara Tahoe Hotel and Casino at magnificent Lake Tahoe, with 500 rooms, gourmet dining, and celebrity entertainment furnished by Del Webb Sahara Tahoe. And to help you be on time everywhere, a pair of Benra Citation Super Thin Quartz Watches, yellow gold tone case with black dial and jewel crown, furnished by Benra, plus a bonus of $5,000 cash. So the main event is worth $11,601. What that means, of course, is that if you win it, you'll wind up with twice what you have now, 23,000. Who are we going to start with, Charles, Lydia, or Richard? I'm going to start with Richard, please. All right, Richard, marriage is a sacred trust. Indeed. Who did George C. Scott trust enough to marry twice? Was it Trish Vanderveer, Joe Van Fleet, or Colleen Dewhurst? Married this woman twice. Wow, I didn't know he was married twice. But um, I know he was married to uh, Colleen Dewhurst. So uh, I would say Colleen Dewhurst. Married twice. That's the important part of this question. Is that right or wrong for 500 in cash, Peter? I'm going to disagree. Oh. His last bride was Trish Vanderveer, yeah, but Colleen right. Dewhurst is the woman he married twice. OK, you're not going to have a shot at the 11,000, but you could win 1,000 in cash with the help of Lydia and Charles. Who gets the next one? We'll go to Charles, please. Once. Hi. Richard Nixon unsuccessfully tried to find a job with the government. What agency turned Richard Nixon away? Was it the FBI, the Bureau of Weights and Measures, or the CIA? Well, at least it's not a Bible question. <laughs> <laughs> because they took so long in, 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 in typing it out, I'll say the Bureau of Weights and Measures. <laughs> Is that right or wrong, Peter, for 500 in C-A-S-H, cash? I'm going to agree. You're right. It's not the Bureau of Weights and Measures. <laughs> Let's get it out of there. We're left with the FBI or the CIA. Which agency? I'm going to say the which? FBI. You are correct. Nice going. That's 500 for you. Now we go to Lydia to see if you can make it an even thousand. Lydia, what famous multimillionaire went down with the Titanic? Was it Andrew Carnegie, John Jacob Astor, or J.P. Morgan? Oh, God. Um, give me a hint, Charles. Um, John Jacob Astor. J.J.A. I'm going to agree. Absolutely right. Nice going, Lydia. And that means $1,000 in cash for you, taking you to 12,400 and, or 12,634, of which 6,000 is cash, and you go into another match, and who knows, you may get another shot at the Battlestar Bonanza, and next time out, you'll be playing for $13,699. But first, we've got to take a commercial break, and we'll be back. Introducing Gordon's new light recipe, premium quality fish sticks and fillets. They're a whole new taste because they have less coating and less oil than we've ever used for a lighter taste. Inside Gordon's light recipe is milky white fish. And in a choice of two delicious coatings, lightly or delicately seasoned tempura batter. Look for this flag. New Gordon's light recipe fish sticks and fillets. A whole new idea. Trust the Gordon's fishermen. Folks, let's get right into our new match by introducing our challenger. She's a former waitress on a luxury liner cruise ship and a former restaurant owner. She's from Puerto Rico, and she's the mother of two. Let's welcome Miriam Parata. Hello, Miriam. Hi, how are you? How old are the two? My two children, they are in the military services. One is 24, one is 22, one is in the U.S. Marines, and the other one is in the Airborne. Two girls, huh? No, two boys. Oh, shut. <laughs> Golly, I used to be sharp Funny. in the old days. All right, good luck to you. As you know, the champion gets to play first, and you'll get an opportunity if he makes a mistake. So watch how he does it. Peter, press the button. You get number six, giving you a big choice. You can go up there to Lydia, to Larry, to Betty, or to Richard. 
Let's go to Betty, please. All righty. Oh. A lot of people have wanted to go to Betty. <laughs> what did Lawrence Welk hope to become when he was just a small boy? Well, he was never really a small boy. See, that's one of the, one of the things he wanted more than anything to be a farmer. Right or wrong, Peter? I'm going to agree with that. Yes, <laughs> Betty knows. Lawrence Welk wanted to be a farmer. Your pick now. I'd like number seven, please. Number seven. Who gets the question, Larry or Betty? We'll go back to Betty, please. Okay. According to experts, Betty, what was the first problem that faced early man? Uh, well, the next problem was um, <laughs> finding food. All right. Correct or incorrect? I'll agree with that. Yes, finding food. That's two in a row for Betty. Right. What number is going to be next on your agenda? We might as well try to capture Betty, please. Number sure. 10. Sure. Betty, what do the boys and girls do together on the sidewalks of New York? <laughs> oh, they um, trip the light fantastic. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? They you trip said? the light fantastic. <laughs> I'll agree with that. That's the right answer. Nice going, Betty. Three in a row for you, and you're captain. You belong to the champion. All right, Peter, what is next? Up on top, please. Number Lawrence. Larry. Yes. When Henry Ford uttered his famous line, use it or lose it, what was he talking about? Money. I'll agree with that. That's the right answer. Nice going, Larry. You, too, belong to our champion. Man's on a roll. I hate to say this, but pretty Lydia. Number two, You please. hate to what? say Yeah. <laughs> Alex won't let me talk. <laughs> it's okay. Lydia, you have beautiful long eyelashes that are real. I Is hope. That the question? <laughs> Thanks so a I was lot. just trying out my smooth real. routine on you, and obviously it wasn't Very going to work. Smooth. So I will turn it into a question. You have beautiful long eyelashes that are real. How long does an eyelash last, on the average? Oh, God. Real. <laughs> oh, you mean one eyelash, one real eyelash? Yeah, on the average, before it drops out or whatever, you know. Oh, about, about six months. Right or wrong? Oh, disagree. Oh. Uh, about six, six months. months. Yeah. Yes, indeed, Lydia. She has naturally long, beautiful eyelashes. And that means our challenger gets a chance. What a Press the button. <laughs> That's it, Miriam. You get number one. And number one on our program is Charles Nelson Riley. In a recent survey, Charles, what did 96 out of 100 people say to a stranger with his fly open? <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> In a recent survey, 96 out of 100 people <laughs> responded in this manner. Nothing. <laughs> Miriam, is that right or I wrong? agree. Yes, 96 out of 100 said nothing. <laughs> They'd let the man walk around and be embarrassed or whatever. You get to choose now, Miriam. What number would you like? Number four. Number four. <laughs> there was another way of playing Charlie? it, but let's see how this works out. You want the question up top to Charles? What was Reagan talking about, Charles, when he said, I haven't seen anything as bad as this since London after the Blitz? His uh, neck in a tight collar. <laughs> <laughs> in Charles. the Oval Room. Uh. <laughs> Before it squared away. You've been eating funny things over the weekend, No, I think, it's Charles. these asthma pills. Oh, all right. Now, uh... Haven't seen anything as bad as this since London after the Blitz. Where I was born, the South Bronx. Miriam, right or wrong? I agree. Yes, the South Bronx is the correct answer. Way to go, Charles. Now, Miriam. What number? Number five. Number five. You could capture Charles and Lydia, so it's going to work out well for you after all. Who gets the question? Charles. All right. Charles. Charles. I like that. Charles. Charles Bye. Nelson. <laughs> According to the UN World Statistics, see, si. in brief, si. the average U.S. male lives to be 70 years old. How about a woman? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, 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 a woman lives longer. Come on, Charles. A woman lives longer, I think. I'll go with. Uh, <laughs> 77 to 78 years. This is for two captured stars and the lead in the match. Miriam, right or wrong? 
Uh, I disagree. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say 84. According to UN World Statistics, the average woman lives to be 77, 78 years old. The number five remains in play. It starts flashing with the others, and Peter gets another shot. Press. You get number eight. Marla, how are you today? I'm fine, I yeah. think. <laughs> well, let's, let's find out after you hear the question. Long before Gladys Knight found her pips, where in the Dickens novels could the character Pip be found? Uh, in great, with great expectations. I agree. That is the correct answer. Nice going, Marla. And Peter, you're sitting in the catbird seat right now. Good shape. Pick a number. Number five, please. This could be the match. Capture five stars. Who gets the question? Charles, Lydia, or Marla? We'll go with Charles, please. All right. In the Bible. Oh. <laughs> I was going to buy one this weekend. <laughs> You've seen a lot of Bible films. Think about those. In the Bible, Bathsheba went with David. Who did she marry? Well, she said that Goliath had a lot to offer. I remember that. <laughs> She married, uh, and it was a lovely ceremony. <laughs> Daniel. This is for the match. Five stars, right or wrong. I'll agree. Mm. Guess who she married? She uh, married David. David. Could I have something about Academy Awards or something? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll speak to the producer and the writers during this commercial break. And when we return, it's though, very important spot for our challenge here because she'll have an opportunity to become the new champion on the new Battlestar. So hang with us. Welcome back. Glad you stayed with us because a very important moment for you, Miriam. Let me explain what has happened. Peter, the champion, has captured Larry and Betty, but right now there are only two numbers left, the five and the nine. They're going to be flashing in a moment. If you're lucky enough to get the number five with just one correct answer, you become our new champion. At worst, two correct answers. Press the button. Good luck. You get five. That's Charles, Lydia, and Marla. Who gets the question? Charles. All right. Charles. Charles. Uh, According to a U.S. News and World Report survey, who is the most influential American? Wow, today? According to a U.S. News and World Report survey, who is the most influential American today? Hmm. Dan Rather. This is for the match, Miriam. Right or wrong? I agree. The correct answer is Ronald Reagan. Number five goes I'm back into sorry. play. Five and nine, flash for the champion. Press. You get number nine. No possibility of a capture. Richard. Yes. When Brigham Young <laughs> led the Mormons in search of a new land, what did he say upon seeing the Great Salt Lake Valley? I don't care how you bring him, bring him young. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> he never said that. He never, he didn't really say, okay. He came into the Valley of Utah and he said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, we should have stayed home. Not necessarily with that inflection. Peter, <laughs> right or wrong? I'm going to disagree. You're going to disagree? <laughs> You're right. He said, this now? is the place. He, he the this place. is the place. He is. I can't recall the last time we had someone become champion by capturing all of our stars, but that's what you can do right now. The number five is the only remaining number in play. You can capture Charles, Lydia, Richard, or Marla. Who gets the question? Uh, Lyd Lydia. He's, He's having trouble with your name now, Lydia, you notice? Uh, he dropped a pretty, too. See what happens? Yeah. Sam. I think he found um, out she's wearing false eyelashes. <laughs> Sorry, no Lydia. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. On. Okay. It is advisable, Lydia, not to wear perfume while sunbathing for two reasons. One is that it may promote burning. What's the other reason? Oh, it attracts bumblebees, spiders, and all kinds of bugs. This is for the match, and all the stars captured. I'll agree with that. That is the right answer. Lydia knows. And you remain champion with six 
captured stars. Congratulations. Uh, Miriam, your two sons are doing you proud, I'm sure. And you did well in the match. It just didn't work out for you. I'm sorry about that. But we have some parting gifts for you backstage. Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much. You, you battle star. Okay. Miriam Farad. All right, we'll take a commercial break. We'll come back with more of the show right after this. Time to play the game, but just enough time for me to ask my good friend Betty White a question. Dear, the last time you and I spent an evening together, you had just been asked to write a book. What's happened with it? You know, it's finished, and it's coming on the stands August 1st. And what's the title? Betty White's Pet Love. Is it all about animals? Well, and you're mentioned in there too, Alex, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Betty. And thank you for tuning us in, ladies and gentlemen. Do it again tomorrow. We'll be here. Someone in our audience today will receive the Texas Instruments Home Computer with Monitor for education, home finance, and entertainment. It's not just for playing, it's also for learning. A home computer furnished by Texas Instruments. Or Cutco's complete 14-piece cutlery set features patented wedge-like handles and double-D grind cutting edge. Quality American craftsmanship furnished by Alcus Cutlery. Or Lazy Boy's Recline Away Recliner placed just inches from the wall. This chair is designed to recline with ease, comfort, and quality furnished by Lazy Boy. Some of our participants today will receive Samuel's cordless extension phone that works up to 700 feet. Convenience, freedom, and portability furnished by Sanyo. And Beeline's assortment of women's and men's fashions for quality versatility. The latest in styles from fun to fancy furnished by Beeline. Plus, new clean and clear leaves no dulling residue. It's the no-rinse cleaner for a clearly beautiful floor. Also, golden grain macaroni and cheddar dinners made with enriched elbow macaroni, premier cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors from Golden Grain Macaroni Company. Tonight, following Love, Sydney, catch family ties. Then, meet the most beautiful women in the world, if they can stay alive. The Monday movie, Someone is Killing the World's Greatest Models. Tomorrow morning on Today, how does a former cheerleader feel about being an unmarried career woman? This has been a Merrill Heater production. This week. You are nothing but a ch...